Now, people, this one is called the bad man and the hypocrisy that exists as it pertains to Jamaican bloggers. And I am speaking about the news bloggers and I am speaking specifically as it pertains to the top bloggers. Now, people, yesterday I got a message from YouTube and the message read something like this. One of your video has been removed because of inappropriate content so therefore them take off the video and then basically put a strike or a threat for a strike on it so anyways when i read what they said i said to myself that does not sound right because whenever i upload a video i make sure that i go over it with a fine tooth comb for make sure say i don't put anything that violate their content because i know that these bloggers they always scrutinize my video and if in any case i should slip up they would always report it and basically make me get a strike on youtube so anyways when i read their message i replied and i basically appealed it so therefore me appeal the case and then after maybe about nine or ten hours later they responded and the response went something like this this is actually the title of their message or their email decision on your video appeal thanks for submitting your video appeal after further review we have reinstated your video so people like me say after about nine or ten hours and people the sad thing about this whole thing is that i had at least four thousand five hundred views on that video in about an hour so people if we do the maths ten hours we would have been speaking about 30 something or 40 something thousand views panda video there alone however based on the fact that they took it down those counts or those views did not count so basically it depend pass with them so the point that I am trying to make is that somebody filed some sort of false claim or false report saying that the video was inappropriate or they were offended by the video. That is why YouTube take it down. Now people, remember, we are Jamaican, so sometimes there's going to be a culture clash. There's going to be some sort of misunderstanding. Unless YouTube actually sits down and listen to the video we are speaking about every second, every minute. So therefore, if somebody keeps repeatedly, we are talking about file report against the video, they are automatically going to take it down until they do their investigation. So the point that I am trying to make again is this. YouTube is a multi-billion dollar company. YouTube does not have the time for track. We are speaking about any one person, any one channel on YouTube because like me say, them have tens of thousands or maybe even hundreds of thousands of channel that they monitor. So therefore, they are not going to pick on any one person unless of course a set of person where I talk about some bad mind blogger and them friend file a lot of report and get their attention. So people, when we use common sense, we can only come to the logical conclusion. Who would file these reports? Would it be a small channel? What would be their motive? No, people, it is obvious we are speaking about a person that is a big channel, that has a big ego, and feel threatened by one person, and feel like this person is getting too much highlight. So therefore, they are going to do what they think they should do because of their own ego, because everybody wants to be the man. So people, the logical conclusion and common sense would tell you that it is a big channel that is doing this so in other words this person and this significant other are is combo are a collection of people that are a set of bad mind point blank and period now people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued i know that a lot of times when you listen to these jamaican bloggers i am speaking about the top ones they have a good talk they talk a good talk they sound like a decent person they sound like they're the type of person that wants unity and want to see everybody strive rate lele blue blah bling however the truth and the fact is that none of them actually get along you will never see any two jamaican news blogger doing any sort of collaboration like you see with comedians we are speaking about overseas or even locally in a jamaica because the truth and the fact is that they hate each other 
father. However, all of them have a common enemy, and that common enemy is me. So therefore, them hate each other, but them hate me even more. Point blank and period. Now I know that you're going to ask the question, why do I think that I am being targeted? Don't I think that I am the problem? Okay, people, it is very simple. Do you realize or don't you realize that your favorite blogger does not sound how he used to sound? He does not sound like himself. So basically, he has thrown away his own playbook and he is now resorting to a playbook that sounds like somebody else. And who is that somebody else? May I talk about me, the person that gives jokes in his video and also uses a lot of sarcasm. So the point that I am trying to make is that that is red flag number one and that might be a motive. People, there are different motives. There are different reasons. There are different red flag. Um, people, we are speaking about obsession. We are speaking about jealousy. We are speaking about bad mind. Um, people, it exists even in the people that you read. So I am just saying don't put your trust in people because the image that they put forth, we are speaking about on this video, on their channel, it might not be the person that they are inside we are talking about deep within, point blank and period. Now, I know that whenever I touch these topics, my subscribers, my viewers don't really like me to talk about it because they say it makes absolutely no sort of sense because the cake is big enough for everybody and people, the truth and the fact that it is. However, you have to understand that Jamaica, it is like a natural instinct to have a crab in a barrel mentality. So therefore, they got popular by being themselves. Therefore, they got hundreds and tens of thousands of subscribers subscribers by being themselves however whenever they see anybody else doing anything that the persons or people by youtube are gravitating to they are going to switch up their game they are going to try to act like that person so therefore they are going to mimic that person and think that because of the fact that they have hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of subscribers the people them can be fooled the people them can be tricked and think that they are the original so therefore, they are going to try to use that strategy we are speaking about Big Bang takes over Little Bang. However, they don't realize that this Little Bang or what they seem as a Little Bang has a lot of purse, has a lot of power upon YouTube. And people don't already see the lane that I have carved out we are speaking about for years, point blank and period. So the essence of what I am trying to say is that they want what they have and they also want what you have. They want everything for themselves. It is all for self. It is all about being the man. Everybody wants to be the man. Everybody wants to be the big man. We are talking about top Jamaican blogger, news blogger, Ray T, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. It is all about ego. It is all about self. We are talking about putting their own self on a pedestal like they have some sort of godlike character. People, these persons are fake, point blank and period. So the essence of what I am trying to say is this. The person that you see in their video on their YouTube channel on their camera, it is not the person that they are. They are actually Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We are speaking about a person with a split personality. We are speaking about a person that is bipolar. We are speaking about you are seeing the real them whenever they file this report because that is what they do when the light goes out, when the camera is off. They are a set of bad mind people. They are a set of crap in a barrel that is a type of mentality that they have point blank and period now people like i said a lot of the times these persons are self-centered they are egotistical they act like they are a wealth of information when the truth and the fact is that they are a set of mimics and what do I mean when I say that they are a set of mimics? They basically go on YouTube, check out each and every blogger that basically bring news. And then they take their style, they take their timeline, and they basically regurgitate and remix whatever them say. And um, people, you understand that once you have the melody of something, it is always going to sound good. So therefore, that is why they are trying to get rid of this person. However, they are using that person's style. They are using that person's information. So people may just tell you say bad mind is very active as it pertains to these Jamaicans hypocrites point blank and period. And the next thing that I can't understand or it kind of jar dropping to me is that the fact that 
they hate somebody this much or they dislike somebody this much however they are always hiding me at all about in my whatsapp group and i wait for me for post video for run go put on them channel however people you see that off lately i have not been putting out or sending out any sort of video so therefore they are blocking me from communicating or basically sending out videos to my own people let me talk about the people let me subscribe to them because they are always hiding and lurking inside of my whatsapp group waiting to see what type of videos i am going to release so we have to ask ourselves the question how is it that these persons don't like somebody however they are always lurking inside them whatsapp group to see which video they are going to release and also they are always trying to sound like this person may i talk about they are using jokes and sarcasm in their video and like I said before, if you want to be honest and think back and think how they sounded when they just started their channel, they don't sound nothing like they sound right now because we see say, all of them are using joke and sarcasm. All of them are trying to sound just like me. So people, I can only come to the logical conclusion that there is almost some sort of obsession or some sort of psychotic we are talking about attraction. So anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say I just have some things that I needed to get off my chest and basically set the ear clear and make people know exactly what is going on and that some of these bloggers they are a set of hypocrites point blank and period. So anyways people that is my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.